Sure, you can get tech news elsewhere, but ours is better. This stuff's artisanal. It's got wood and little tassels made of leather and Whoa, Have you smelled it? Embossed lettering. <laughs> Microsoft has announced a little flat PC that looks a heck of a lot like a Mac mini, and it's even powered by an ARM processor, just like Apple's latest M1 model. <laughs> what happened to that spirit of innovation that brought us the Zune? Oh, You've changed, Microsoft. Okay, fine, there are some key differences. The PC is called Project Volterra, so the name is different, and it's a developer kit powered by an unknown Qualcomm Snapdragon SoC and a neural processing unit which will help devs build ARM native apps using the new ARM native versions of Visual Studio, Terminal, and the Windows subsystems for Linux and Android. Volterra will be stackable to increase processing power because that's the only way it could look impressive next to Apple's Mac Studio, which is just like a vertically chonky Mac Mini, or come close to its performance. Volterra sounds like a startup in Silicon Valley that's gonna take my money and run. Sounds like a Decepticon. I'll see you in court. Xbox Game Pass has been praised as the best deal in gaming for a while now, but this week, some gaming outlets wrote articles about Game Pass burnout, sparking some very Netflix-esque discussion. Ugh, I'm so burnt out from playing all these games. I feel like I need a vacation where I do less than nothing. <laughs> Game Pass fans pointed out that even if you've played all the AAA games on the platform, there's still plenty of indie games to enjoy, and the Game Pass Twitter account destroyed Kotaku with an absolutely ruthless ratio, aka the strongest weapon humans have in the argument. Ratio! Beep, beep, beep. Many pointed out that Game Pass provides a guaranteed payout for indie devs, but a counterpoint came from none other than one of the OG Xbox launch team members, Ed Fries. Fries said in an interview that Game Pass has obvious similarities to subscription services like Spotify, which arguably has had a negative impact on artists' take-home revenue compared to the previous model. What was that? CDs? Concerts? Records? No one does that anymore. And then you got the OG streaming service, Netflix, which is undergoing a burnout crisis despite having no shortage of content. But wait, if you cancel your membership, those creators and devs won't be able to feed their kids. And their kids are hungry little chonkers. <laughs> Better keep paying Microsoft. Or save that money to spend on a vacation, I guess. You can just stand still. And Google is taking on OpenAI's DAL-E text-to-image generation system with the announcement of their own model, Imogen, which seems to specialize in creating depictions of extremely cute animals in extremely strange situations. You know what would make this corgi better? If it was in a house of sushi. Make it so, machine and put the rights on the outside. I don't like those other rules. Mackie, I don't like them. It must be said how impressively realistic, or impressionistic, depending on the prompt, the results of both image generating algorithms are. Although, as MIT Technology Review points out, there's a reason that all the example pictures released to the public seem to depict only cute, non-human figures. Google and OpenAI had to filter out a lot of pornographic, racist, or sexist content, because we all remember how Microsoft's public chatbot experiment went. Oof. We are, we're just humans. <laughs> So as much as I want to generate scenarios statistically unlikely to occur in the real world, it's probably okay to let these AIs sit in the oven a bit more. <sighs> God, that was not a prompt. Uh -huh. Don't feed that in, wait! A Bradley is near. Prepare yourself! Ah! Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Enlisted, the free-to-play World War II multiplayer shooter available on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. Wow! With a focus on historical authenticity and gameplay that always keeps you in the middle of the action. You'll be placed in large-scale combat alongside dozens of soldiers and vehicles directly in famous historical campaigns like the Invasion of Normandy. So head to the link below and start playing Enlisted for free, and you'll also get a free bonus just for signing up. Listen to these quick bits. It is your destiny. Oh, are you Darth? That's so good. Darth something. <laughs> During NVIDIA's keynote at Computex, Asus announced the world's first 500 hertz gaming monitor, aptly named the ROG Swift 500 hertz. Wow. I'm actually so happy for that name. Unfortunately, that's the most impressive spec. The Swift is a 24.1 inch 1080p display with a T <coughs> TN panel that Asus claims has 60% better response times than normal TN panels. So actually, it's not just a TN panel, it's an ETN panel. Subscribe to ETN. <laughs> ETN. Keep in luck for eSports, because frames win games, and more frames win more games, obviously. There's no price or release date yet, Asus just wanted you to know it exists. That's what conference and trade shows are for, to give you some hope for the future. Maybe we won't die. A future to be excited for. We don't need Elon, we need 500 hertz. <laughs> 
Motorola also wants you to know that it's working on a phone with a 200 megapixel camera sensor, with the company's China division telegraphing a launch sometimes in July. Okay. Sometimes in July, it's a hut. <laughs> We also saw a Motorola leak depicting a Razer 3 foldable phone, which looks like it's ditching the nostalgia focus design for thinner bezels, kind of like Samsung's Z Flip. Because yeah, it was cool to see our old friend again, but then they still hung around for a while and it's like, I got a life to live, man. We're not in high school anymore. We don't use razors. The first PCI Gen 5 M.2 SSD looks like it might actually deliver on the hype around the new interface with write speeds up to 12,000 megabytes per second, capital B baby, and reads up to 13,000 megabytes per second. The drive will come from two companies, A Pacer and Zadac, A to Z baby, with the whole <laughs> gamut of drives. Both brands announced a partnership that will see each of them release a version of the drive with Zadac giving theirs the flashy moniker TWS G5 and A Pacer dubbing theirs the AS2280 F5. Why aren't I excited anymore? That's weird. I they just. Should have called it the Boo. SSD 500 Hertz. The, the AW flaccid right now, five. <laughs> the latest Trident compact PC from MSI got some pretty obvious design cues from the Xbox One S because, well, yeah, it looks pretty much exactly like an Xbox One S. But there's a dragon on it. <laughs> and it only has integrated Ryzen graphics and costs like $1,100. So probably just get an Xbox One S. Oh God. And New York State is distributing stationary robot companions to 800 seniors as part of a trial to test whether such a scheme could help us uh, with, with having to talk to old people. Just joking. Could help with social isolation among the elderly, an issue that's expected to get worse as the baby boomer generation ages. We're gonna have phones though. We'll be okay. <laughs> the robot is called Eleq. Eleq? I don't know. Whatever. And built by Intuition Robotics. Ironic name, since <laughs> that's not an intuitive brand. They say it can engage users in small talk, help contact loved ones, keep track of health goals like exercise and medication, and hopefully install Zoom and turn the mic on. <laughs> <laughs> Point the camera at your face, Grandma. <laughs> and we'll have more pictures to show you on Friday when you definitely come back for more tech news because how could you live without us? Mm. What did you do if we weren't here right now?